how did you take you know those those early placements and like really use them to to your advantage or how how have they helped your your career as an artist yeah man um they've done a lot i mean i can say confidently like this is probably the best place that i've ever been like in my life and even in my music career and like what sync has kind of allowed me to do like it's just again you know able to you know leave my job and you know making way more than what i was um there and giving me the the freedom to be able to kind of create the business that i want and even the music that i want yeah. bring in the team you know kind of dynamic as well yeah. so it's, it's been dope just on a, on a personal level you know for me and my family but then on the other side just as an artist I mean, it's, it's helped raise, I think, the the value of, you know, my artist brand, Derage, and even some of the other brands that I have. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're tied to, you know, a Call of Duty placement or T-Mobile placement or Disney Plus placement or whatever, like, you know, it, it puts you in a different conversation because it's just like, wow, his music is being represented. Or, like, these brands, like, it's almost that brand trust. Like, if these brands are willing to use and pay this artist, you know, for his music, you know, and whatever promo that they're running, yeah. um, then it just creates a whole nother level of, of value that you bring to the market. Um, and so it's, I mean, it's done that. It's helped me broker just different deal types, um, you know, with different agents or different companies or brands or whatever, like, you know, I can negotiate different, um, I'm not, you know, I don't have to do any deals. I don't want to, <laughs> like I get yeah. the power of a no, like if yeah. I really want, yeah. uh, which is, which I think people take, it's, it's different, man. When like, you know, you paycheck to paycheck and you just like, man, I got to say yes to everything. You know what I mean? To when, you know, to when it's like, you know, you live in comfortable now, it's just like, you know what I'm all right. I don't have to, you know, give up my music in this capacity or do this show that I am really not excited to do or try to now figure out how to build a merch line that generates a passive, you know, it's like, I don't have right. to do any of that stuff. Yeah. Um, but, but at the same time, it gives me the power to do all that stuff when I'm ready. You know what I mean? Like if I want to, um, go out and do shows and tour and all that kind of stuff, if I want to go do merch or, um, you know, like shoot music or whatever, you know what I mean? Like whatever it is, it makes it a lot easier to do now because um, I've, I've become my own bank in a sense, you know what I mean? It's just like, you know, Sync has, has provided more income to be able to do things as an artist that might have been harder to do early on without Sync as a, as a you know, part of the strategy. Yeah. Um, you know, because it's, it's just tough nowadays for musicians to monetize you know, unless you're, you know, selling merch, doing shows or, you know, getting a little bit that you can get off of like Spotify for your streams and stuff, right. you know, maybe some brand partnerships, but you even have to have a certain level of like, you know, brand equity to broker deals that feel competitive or worth it. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's, it's just tough. Uh, it's tougher. It's not impossible because obviously there's artists out here doing it full time. Right. Um, you know, I got a homie, you know, who's killing it. He's, you know, started his own label and, you know, sync isn't like a, a big part of what he does or even I think a part of what he does, but he's, you know, he, he's doing it. So I don't, I don't want to discourage the traditional artist route. Yeah. Um, there's value in it, but, it, but also no, it's just like, it's, it's tough. It's getting tougher. And that's why I say like sync, I feel like sync is probably the, one of the last few like vehicles that an independent artist has to really make like a big impact, like with their music and, you know, sustain themselves financially off of it and, and build some kind of career. Right. Um, I don't know any other part of the industry that's doing it unless you just strike gold with like, you know, like a, a you know, a big artist that's just like, you know, like, I don't know, like you kind of got them in your back pocket kind of thing, but it still seems like there's a, um, you know, it's a, it's an uphill battle. Yeah. Nah, I agree. Um, yeah, it, it's definitely a, a great opportunity. Um, 